Okay, so I decided to do a little video of my new Jilly, uh, Jilly design uh, bag. It's from the Jack series, which is designed for, for men. And this is the Jack Messenger bag. Uh, so I couldn't find uh, too much uh, videos on it on YouTube, so that's why I'm making this. Um, the first thing you'll notice is it's uh, of course it's leather. It's it's uh, nice soft uh, brown leather, and it just it looks absolutely amazing. <clears throat> On the front, you've got this. It's a snap lock. If you can see that. So no no uh, no velcro uh, ripping sounds when you open it. And there you go. There are two large front pockets. They're not too deep, but I think uh, you can actually fit a a four uh, a Canon 430 EX flash in here. I have some batteries and stuff. And the other one has a pocket there. On each side you have a small pocket which has a magnetic lock. Now these pockets are really small. I, I, I kind of wish they were deeper so you could have some stuff in here. You can, you can hardly fit a wallet or uh, I mean I guess you could fit a phone or some flashcards or whatever. I do wish uh, they were a bit bigger. but. Uh, so the inside of the bag, and this bag is 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 really big, uh, and I got it because I wanted a bag that looked uh, nice and stylish, and still but still could hold some gear. So I got what I got in here is a loop, a screen loop. I have a my 5D Mark II with the. 70 to 200 attached. I have a 1D. It's kind of hard to do with one hand though, but I have my 1D Mark III. So here I have a 580 EX2 flash. Down here I have a, a, a 35 millimeter prime, the L. I have a 50 1.2 Canon, so as you you can see the it's really deep, so you can have a lot of stuff. Here I have a uh, this is the 16 to 35 2, and down here I have a 85 1.2. So, I mean the padding is uh, one thing I do have to say the way it was set up. I changed it for my needs, so this this one here is actually from a uh, from another bag um, because that's the only way I could configure it the way I want to. I like lots of s small compartments. So uh, one thing I like is it's really it's um, it's stern and it's uh, well padded. Some of the other so-called stylish bags, I mean, they don't really have enough padding or or dividers or there's there's always something here you have like a flap you could the thing is you can actually almost cover the gear here and the bag is so deep that you could if you wanted to you could actually configure it so you could have two more prime lenses on top of the other prime lenses so yeah So, plenty of space, and on the back, you have a big pocket here, which I believe is intended or could be used for, I think, a 15 inch laptop. I don't know if it'll fit a bigger but And down here, you have you can use this for either a pocket or you have like a you know the airport uh, or a, um, a trolley or something you can zip it up and that goes through here. The strap 
if you can see this. There's a strap, which um, I think it's uh, it's okay, although it's I mean it's nylon, but um, the shoulder pad is is leather. The one thing, it, the handle, it's not really that useful when the bag is loaded because I don't know if I can demonstrate this. If you lift it, you can see the weight because you're only lifting at the back it's not really that useful I mean I wish they had like a something like uh, that came up around the side so the weight was dis distributed better better okay that's it guys uh, overall even though I had to pay a little extra to get it to here to Europe Denmark with the customs and all I mean the bag is just phenomenal it, it, I, I think it really looks amazing and it's practical so definitely a keeper thanks guys